Hey everyone, so my name is Candice and today I'm going to be filming a collective haul video. So I've done quite a bit of shopping. I've been to American Apparel, Topshop like four times. Um, got some stuff from Brandy Melville, the drugstore, and Sephora. So I'm just going to hop right into it. So starting off with Topshop, I picked up this chunky turtleneck because everyone needs a nice chunky turtleneck. And I am obsessed with this. Just the color, the material, the shape, like it's a high-low style you can see and it's just super warm and comfy and I'm just in love with it I think it is such a staple winter piece and I've been pairing it with everything so that is just amazing and then I got this white um, plain shirt and it's just a little fancier the cut of it's really nice and flattering it has a black zipper down the back once again it's kind of like a high low style shirt and it has three quarter length sleeves. And then I also just got this denim shirt. It's just your typical denim button up shirt. It's really nice, long sleeve. I like to wear it with the sleeves rolled up. And I really like to wear it open rather than closed, but it does look really nice closed. And it has like two little pockets at the front. So I got that. And then the last two things I got are so amazing. I'm so happy I splurged and got them because I have been wearing them non-stop since I did and I am so impressed with the quality. So the first ones are I finally invested and tried out the Topshop Jamie jeans, the high-waisted ones, and these are from the tall section because I am six feet tall. And let me tell you, it is so hard for me to find pants or jeans that are a perfect length for me or fit my waist because I do have a small waist but I am curvy and then I have long legs. So it's just so hard for me to find really nice jeans, but these ones are a bit more expensive, but honestly I don't mind spending the extra money because I know they will last and they're like perfect everywhere. They just fit amazing and they have like the rips and they look, they might be looking black on camera, but they're actually like the gray, dark gray color. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're a blue gray color and I'm just obsessed with them. I want to go back and pick up some more already and I just got these like three days ago, so... Yeah, definitely try them out if you're looking for new jeans or if you have trouble finding jeans that are long enough or fit you. They're really slim fit and they do, um, they're really comfy and they do fit amazing. So I'm just rambling about them because I'm so excited. But yeah, definitely try them out if you have it. And then the last thing I got from Topshop is a coat and this coat was actually on sale and it is in the like it's a petite coat in the petite section but it is kind of big on me and it's a size 8 so I think it would fit most people but it's just this black coat it is longer and just really nice it has like these type of buttons I don't know if you can see it's really nice it has a collar and it is just amazing it's really warm as well it was like negative 8 or negative 10 yesterday and I wore it with just like a sweater underneath like this sweater and it was fine I wasn't cold at all it's just really warm and it's a really nice staple piece so I'm glad I got that and I got it for $70 a huge deal on it so I'm so happy I got that and then next up American Apparel I just got one thing from there but oh my gosh I am so excited I got a pair of riding pants and I got the black ones and they just look like this if you haven't seen them before they have like this patch on like the inner knee they're like a ribbed material they're super thick they're long enough for me perfect length for me and they're just amazing really high waisted they go up to my belly button so they are just comfy and i am so glad that i invested in a pair of these i originally went in looking to get the black disco pants and i tried them on and i did like them but then i was like you know what let me try the riding pants because i kind of do like the texture more and I feel like these are more wearable for every day just because the disco pants are like so shiny. But um, yeah, I really like these and I decided to get these instead. So I'm excited about those. And then next up I just went into Brandy Melville and I got this shirt that you've probably seen everywhere. And it says Cesse La Vie Paris and it's just really cute, obviously super comfy. The material is amazing since it is Brandy Melville. So I picked that up. And then I got this sweater, which everyone has probably seen as well, and it's the OK But First Coffee one. And this sweater is just so relevant to my life. Honestly, before I do anything, I'm like, I need like Starbucks. Like, I need a Starbucks coffee. Before I study, I'm like, OK, let's go do a Starbucks run. Before I go to class, OK, Starbucks. Before like me and my friends do anything, go to the mall or anything, OK, let's get Starbucks. Like, it's just always need a coffee. So I just thought this was so funny and so me. So I had to get that, and of course, it's super comfy, super warm. And then last thing from Brandy Melville, it's just 
this beanie, black typical beanie, and it's so cute. It's one of the more slouchier ones, it's not like the smaller ones, so it just sags and it's very cute and I've been wearing this a ton as well since I got it, so I just like that. And that is it for clothing items. And then I went into Forever 21 because I had this bag that I got from Aldo ages ago and it has all my school books in it and it was starting to rip like really badly and it was just from the salt and from putting it on the floor. It was just torn and ugly looking and I had like a nice outfit on and it was just ripping and I was like, you know what? I don't need this bag. It's going to rip. I'm going to have to carry all my school supplies, all my books, all my pencils, all my like makeup items around. Like I'm going to pop by in the mall on my break. And and try and find a new bag and so I did and I went into Forever 21 and I found this one and it's just this huge pleather bag and it is so nice um, it comes with like this little purse inside too which is amazing so it's just a little clutch it has a zipper and two pockets on the inside and it comes with a long strap and at first I thought it was attached in the bag and then the long strap was on the actual big bag I didn't realize that it was two separate bags but I actually like this a lot and I think it's cute and so yeah, this is just honestly like a huge hobo bag. There's no pockets inside, but I just have like all my school stuff. It fits everything. Like I have so much in here and it was $40. So I thought it was an amazing deal and I'm just really happy with it. Uh, I just went to Aldo and I got a pair of sunglasses. These were like $13. They're like knockoff Ray-Ban looking and I think they're just so cute. I just really needed a pair of sunglasses because all of mine broke, so. Just got the but to Sephora. Oh, everything is buried underneath. I'm sorry. So the first thing I got was the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation, and it is a powder foundation. And I am in the shade Light Sand, and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just like that. You dab your brush and just apply over your face and now I don't use this on its own just because I like having full coverage so I'll use like my drugstore um, medium coverage foundation just put like a thin layer of that on and then I'll apply this and I really like the finish of it it's very matte because my foundation's matte and this doesn't have shimmer so I just really really like the look and that's what I've been wearing recently and then I'm so late on the bandwagon with this but I got the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and why didn't I buy this sooner? I have no idea, but it is amazing. The colors are gorgeous. They're just so easy to pair together. And I have been recently into doing like my eyeshadow and just kind of focusing on my eyes more and not just doing the typical eyeliner mascara, actually trying out eyeshadows. So this is perfect. And it honestly smells like cake and chocolate and cupcakes. And then Lastly from Sephora, which is boring, I just got a new beauty blender because mine is falling apart. I've had it for over a year and it's just getting old, so I wanted to pick up a new one and I just picked up the black one. So yeah, lastly from the drugstore, I got a new foundation because I walked in going to pick up my typical regular CoverGirl foundation that I always use and then I saw this one I was like, you know what, why not try something new? And it looks pretty good and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation and it just looks like this. It's medium coverage, I'm in the shade Natural Beige, and I'm liking it so far. It is matte, but my problem is getting my foundations to stay on, and it does stay on, but it's still, it's not like it's the same when I put it on and then when I come home from school or work or whatever, but it is really nice. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to repurchase it or not, and I've just been using it for a week, so I'm gonna give it a little more, but it is good, and I've been liking it so far. And then, oh, next thing, honestly, this is like my new holy grail product. Like, I'm always looking for new mascaras. I have a bunch in my drawer, and I got this one, which is new, and it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and it looks like this. This mascara is amazing. I honestly recommend it to anyone. If you haven't tried it, try it out, and if you have tried it, let me know down below what you think, but it just keeps the curl of my lashes. My lashes look thicker, fuller. They're so long looking. Like, I do have pretty pretty long lashes to begin with but they aren't full and they, it's hard for them to keep the curl like I do curl them but with my other mascaras I notice like that the curl doesn't last all day and with this I like ugh, it's perfect I have no bad things to say about this I love the formula I love the brush it's easy to apply it's dark it's black like it's a little curved brush I don't know if you can see that but honestly this mascara is amazing and I don't think I'm going to use any other mascara for a while now that I have this and it's definitely going to be repurchased just once it's done and then lastly I just got this Revlon color stay moisture satin lip gloss and it is in the shade New York scene and it's just this dark plummy 
red and it's very nice looking. So hopefully you can see that's what it looks like. It's just a dark red color. And that is everything for my haul. Sorry it was kind of long and sorry I rambled, but hopefully you like this video and you've seen some things that you're thinking about getting or you're interested in. Honestly, check out all these things. I am obsessed with everything I got. So once again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please press that like button and please, please subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!